I have an Indian name. My Indian name is uh, Wambli Ohitika. Uh, some of the white folks are like, what? I know, it sounds like my dad just looked into a bowl of alphabet soup. <laughs> we shall call him. <laughs> Wamblio Itita. This is right here in the bowl. It actually means something, though. It does. It means brave eagle, he who soars in the heavens. Yeah, I made that part up. It don't mean that. <laughs> Indian people know what it means. Uh, they're like, bull crap. <laughs> All the white folks are like, wow. I wish they would have named me something different, like uh, Maza Ska Wombly, because that means rich eagle. <laughs> he who travels first class. <laughs> I tell you what, right now, you do not want to see me in first class, because they get drunk up there. <laughs> the lady would be like, you want to drink, Mr. Redwater? You don't want to see me drunk, lady. If I get drunk, there's going to be some fighting up in this plane. I'd be like, who wants to go? That's the thing, like, everybody always says, all Indians ever like to do is drink. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll give you that one. But it makes perfect sense, man, you see? Because the white man introduced alcohol to the Indians so they could steal our land. And some people, right? And some people call this one of the worst genocides in history. But I like to call it one of the longest happy hours ever. <laughs> I didn't even know I could leave the res. I did it. I was like, what, we can leave? We can leave? And my mom was like, I thought you knew. No, I didn't know. I thought we were stuck here. <laughs> I'm 30 years old. <laughs> I'm going to quit breastfeeding, too. <laughs> I was drunk every day because she was drunk every day. <laughs> When I turned 21, she's like, get out of here. You're old enough to buy your own booze. I used to stand on the reservation line looking out. That's where that comes from. My family used to get mad at me. They're like, hey, JR, get away from there. You're going to get us in trouble. And I was like, oh, I waited for the sacred Budweiser truck to arrive. I don't even drink. Actually, I'm, I'm uh, over seven years clean and sober right now. Man. I 
I didn't want to quit. I had to quit. The judge told me to quit! Quit! Like five times. I was like, please, your honor! I won't ever do it again. I don't give a take him away! That was bad, man. Uh, you know, and that's the thing, man. I, you know, I'm allergic to alcohol, quite honestly. Every time I drink it, I break out in handcuffs. <laughs> and when the cops pulled me over, they're like, we're gonna have to give you the breathalyzer test, Mr. Redwater. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna pass that off the first. And it turns out I was wrong because I got a 4.0 on that test. And I didn't even study. It was a natural.